Hi, everybody. It's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are in Power Director 20, looking at some of the new features in the program. A couple of the new features or new effects in the program are in the category of AI or artificial intelligence in that they're able to do some pretty spectacular things without a lot of input on your part. And two of them are in the category of audio fixes or audio enhances. We have a scene, and as often happens when you have a scene that was shot outdoors, this scene has a lot of background noise. If you listen carefully, you can hear birds chirping in the trees, you can hear some traffic, a little bit of wind, but listen to this scene. He just doesn't like me. I might like you now. Maybe, let's see. Okay. Okay, so there's a lot of noise in there. Uh, let's try out these fixes and see how they work. I'm going to select the clip on my timeline. When I do, I get the little function buttons along the top. And if I click on Fix Enhance, you see I have a lot of tools in here for adjusting lighting, white balance, for sharpening my picture and for uh, adjusting color, enhancing the color. And here at the bottom of the fix list is wind removal. And here at the bottom of the enhance category, is speech enhancement. In both cases, they work similarly in that uh, what they essentially do is use a noise gate. And a noise gate limits noise at a certain level so that you only get the key sound or the main sound and the background sound disappears. Again, we had a lot of birds chirping. We could hear some traffic in the background. I'm going to just turn on wind removal, click the wind removal button, and here we can make some adjustments, but I'm just going to let it play at its default settings. It's going to render a new audio clip for this particular video clip. If you look at the waveform, you'll see it change here also. Uh, it looks like it's gone completely, but in reality, what it's done is gotten rid of a lot of that background. So there it is, it's back again. But this is with the noise gate applied. Listen for the wind noise now. He just doesn't like me. I might like you now. Maybe, let's see. So there you go. If you listen carefully, you don't hear any traffic noise at all. I'm still hearing the birds. Let's see what happens when we apply speech enhancement. Also, click apply. It's going to render the audio once again. So we've got wind removal and speech enhancement on this clip. And let's see how much cleaner it sounds. Give it a second to regenerate. There it goes. Okay, let's listen. Maybe like you now. Maybe, let's see. Okay. Well, maybe. Do you hear birds chirping at all? I mean, do you hear any traffic? I mean, this sounds like it was recorded in a sound stage. It's pretty amazing. Listen to that again. Maybe like you now. Maybe, let's see. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press Control Z a couple of times to go back to my original sound. I'll let you hear it again. He just doesn't like me. Maybe, let's see. Okay. That to me is pretty amazing. There's somebody mowing the lawn in the background. There's some traffic. There's some birds chirping. All of that goes away when I apply these two AI effects to it. Now, naturally, there's a threshold for them. If you're in a very noisy environment or if the wind is blowing really hard, uh, the more you apply these effects, the more artificial everything is going to sound because, you know, noise gates do have a limit on well, how well or how much noise they can eliminate. But for basic situations like this, where you have just got some ambient sound. These tools are fantastic additions and they have cleaned up the audio really, really nicely. You want to know more about all the tools in this program for sweetening your audio, for enhancing your video, for adding special effects, for creating movies, check out the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director. It's available on amazon.com. If you've got any questions, come by moviepix.com and drop in in our free community forum. I'm always here and I'm glad to answer any questions you got. My name is Steve. I wrote the book. Hope to see you again real soon.